Right then, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a potassium nitrate sugar paper fuse. Um, basically an improved version of my other video, just potassium nitrate paper fuse. Because um, that one, well, I tried it in a rocket and uh, it got so far up and then just stopped. And uh, obviously that's no good in a rocket because you want it to go off and it didn't go off. Um, so basically this just burns ten times better. I've tried it under a rock, well in between two rocks it burns in between them because obviously uh, potassium nitrate is an, uh, an oxidizer and uh, makes stuff burn better um, so basically what you got to do is get one teaspoon of uh, potassium nitrate and one teaspoon of uh, sugar with about mm, that much hot water, boiling hot water uh, just enough to dissolve it basically you need to stir it up until it's uh, totally dissolved. Just keep going. Because it's uh, boiling hot water, it seems to dissolve stuff ten times quicker. And, uh, well, to whether it's cold water. So, let's see if it's dissolved. Yeah, that's about it. Alright. Now, basically, what you want to do is fold this up like so, like that, so it's easier to unfold later. So it's hard, hard to fold with one hand. There you go. Alright, now before you go any further, if you've got any gloves, there, uh, you know, little cheap, cheapo gloves. I put them on because I've been making these and in the end I ended up with a rash on my hands which is not good they do say that if you get it on your hands you meant to wash it for 15 minutes and consult the doctor but mm, didn't bother, just put some hand cream on but yeah, get some gloves right, I'm, a, right, I'm back with my uh, gloves now there you go, just well, they look like surgeon's gloves, but they just protect your hands. So now I'll just put that in there. Make sure it all gets wet. I mean, once you've got this out, you might see there's quite a bit left or something, but if there is, obviously put half of the paper towel in there, you can make some more. Just squeeze it out. There you go, so you've got quite a bit left in here, you could probably make another one. There you go, right. Now, you to unroll, unroll all this and uh, hang it up or put it down to dry. I'm going to put mine in front of the heater, which I'm going to show you in a sec, because I'm very impatient. And uh, it just heats up, well, sorry, dries it out in about 20 minutes. 10 times quicker and then leave it out on the concrete, so. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, okay. I've uh, got it well, drying in, uh, in front of the fan now. Uh, this will take about 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. You'll know it when it's dry because it's made an arc get real crispy. So, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Right, that's about halfway through uh, drying now because uh, the top part's starting to get, you know, crispy but then it starts to go wetter down the bottom, you know, it's starting to dry off now the top bit's kind of whiter and the bottom's slightly see-through, if you get what I mean yeah, it looks like the top part's dry but the bottom part's wet uh, so, so far it's been about 5 minutes, so it looks like it's going to take about 10 minutes but I always leave it for a bit longer than I think it's dry because uh, if it's slightly damp it won't burn anywhere near as well and uh, these are quite fast burning fuses I mean you could slow them down by putting some I think it's bicarbonate so no yeah I think it's bicarbonate of soda in I don't I'm not too sure but I know there is ways that you can slow the uh, reaction down Right then, I reckon that's about done now. Uh, it's quite crisp, but I reckon I'll put a little bit too much water in there because it's not quite, uh, you know, crispy as I'd like it to be. Um, but I'll just cut out a piece and then we can uh, 
Fantastic. Right, okay. I'll cut it out now. So, um, I'm just, I'm just going to fold this up. Just fold it. Quite crispy this is, actually. And fold it again. Oh, flipping it. See, it's so easy to break. There you go. <laughs> right, folded it again now. Right, so I'll just test this little piece now. Lighter. Here we go. Whoa. There you go, it's quite a good burn. Let's just do this other piece as well. Very easy to light as well. Very hard to burn these ones out. Right, now I'm going to try one in between these two wraps just to show how well they burn in a confined space. So it's the same, it's off the same sheet of uh, tissue paper. Right then, just put this under here. Right, there you go, I see that's under there now. Shut the lid. Well, close the lid. <laughs> and light it. I still hear that going. Um, still going. Let the smoke coming out. And that's it. I have to lift it up. All burnt. All of it. See, very good at um, burning. Well, well, in confined spaces, because how more confined can you get between between two slabs? So I'm sure these belts would be good for in uh, rockets and well things like that. They do spat. They do spatter quite a lot, so I'd be careful with them in smoke bombs and stuff, because uh, obviously it could ignite itself a lot earlier than you expected. So be careful, and uh, well, wear proper safety equipment and uh, have fun. <laughs>